Well, this intro, Jesus was gang stalked. I like this intro, David. Yeah, so gang stalking, it's an energy, it's, an, it's like a negative energy that I, I can feel and I don't like, okay? Jesus was gang stalked. <laughs> For sure. Right, DB, with the title like that, you're going to attract people like me in, so let's see what you got. Because you know how I am. Alright, yo, I just want to show y'all something real quick, you know what I'm saying? Like, even when, you know, when you watch videos, I see things in other people's videos that I, that catches that catches my attention because of this simulation <laughs> program, pattern program that I'm in. And it's funny too because I see these things inside other people's videos. Like, man, it may make you feel like you be getting gang stalked even when you watch other people's videos. But, and this is not even a targeted individual channel that I know of anyway. He's, he, this, is, this, this channel is not about. Yeah, like I said, Truth Dog channel is wrong about not everyone being gang stalked. He reckons, you know, only people with souls are gang stalked and I said no everybody is gang stalked we're targeted any free expression is targeted any free spirited mental action in this matrix is targeted that's why we're targeted but that's targeting everybody is gang stalked everybody is gang stalked um, I've seen many channels around the internet what he's saying here this is not a TI channel DB here from Gang Stalking Simulation. Truth Dog's another channel. But um, yeah, so you know, DB's like, yeah, this is not even a TI channel. That's right, I've seen a lot of like street theater in people's videos that didn't have a clue. Like I saw um, Gang Stalking Planes in a few like people's videos and I knew why they were getting gang stalked because they were associating themselves with particular uh, search terms. And I knew that was the only reason because I could tell by the people's characters. Being gang stalked. Now, I'm going to show you. As you can see this guy right here, where the arrow is at. And then there's a girl right here. That they're together. Now, this is what gang stalkers do. Now, what you're about to see. I used to see a lot. I don't see it now. I don't see it no more. Like I used to see it. You know what I'm saying? But there's other people out here that do complain about this type of tactic. So I'm going to go ahead and let it play, and I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. And then he was looking as well. I mean, it could be some, we'll say it may, may be a coincidence. But then this dude right here puts his hand behind his head. And this is something what they usually the gang stalkers do. They put their hand behind their head, and then they walk right off. Right when they got up on them just to like get in the way now you know this this is shit that they do all the time you know just a matter of see just imagine see so let me explain this shit so you know when we're dealing with organic portals we're dealing with the collective unconscious that's what carl jung always used to talk about you remember that carl jung guy how they put him aside and put freud and all the you know zygmunt freud and his psychology in all the books because it's more organic portal psychology. It's like label some stuff, it's very shallow, it gets etiologically nowhere, right? Because that's what they can't, they can never etiologically trace anything, organic portals. They're a surface for us, they're very disconnected. Um, and then Carl Jung, who comes with answers and deep, at least deep uh, ways and routes that you can follow and pathways, um, you know, going within and deeper and more complex and into more novelty and with some core centrisms with higher what we call you know divine spiritual matrix gnosis and stuff in there and he gets ignored just like uh, you know Thomas Edison has got the electricity and Nikola Tesla got ignored yeah Benjamin Kallenberg out here getting ignored and big trucks rolled by at the most important point <laughs> Um, yeah, anyway, so it's just interesting, um, you know, it's not necessarily a particular movement that they do, it's all it is is energy dynamics between people, I've said a lot about ions, negative ions, positive ions and stuff, 
um, and you know a lot of people are just like brainwashed it's COINTELPRO for sure that type of thing has run through society where people become co-intel become snitches stasis and so on and so forth right and because they're you know little afraid monkey anthropoids right in their big troop but in low positions because the masons and so on rule over them all and then illuminati and so on and a few 13 bloodlines and all that um you know what i mean they're they're just trying to keep the order so that they have anything because they know how inferior they are and if they don't they would have nothing at all they'd be dead so quick it's funny i can get ostracized endlessly and here i am still strong as fuck getting stronger anyway so it's energy dynamics in the street theater like they're trying to create suckers by getting their attention and you notice the movements are always bad they're organic portal movements they get your attention because they're pain movements they're always pain movements that they do flinches and all this shit because you're naturally stronger and your heart field for instance is brain sinking them so they go into trance around you right you see all these people fucking trancing around you they'll go into like a hypnosis trance state to your rhythm and then they don't know what's going on and then also you get bad reactions because they're filled with parasites and they've become the parasites because they don't have their own spirit mental light body that's what it's about <clears throat> So they, they can't help but become the mentality of the parasites that they're harboring. And everybody is harboring many, many different parasites. You don't have a clue if you think that's wrong. You think you're clean? You've got a gut, you're not clean. You've got any fat, you're not clean. And it's worse, right? And then you get into Watiki and mental ego viruses, which is rampant and epidemic out here. Anyway, you get the picture. It's energy dynamics. And unconscious stuff going on unconscious collectives unconscious parasite hives all that I just mentioned you know what I mean so let's, let's continue to see what he says about it because that's you know some of the input that I put into the whole movement about it and it's a hundred times a day when you outside I mean, all right now you're gonna see how he puts his hand behind his head and they walk off so that's interesting because it's lined up right with the view of the person who's in the camera taking the camera where their visual energy would have been going and that's what i'm saying a lot of this street theater stuff is just it's energetics and because you have like a very strong um translinguistic lens out the forehead third eye energy and into your eyes your gaze can focus in a way that theirs doesn't seem to be able to um, and we have like this zoom mechanism but it's a spiritual zoom it's not like zooming in physically that's not what I'm talking about anyway it's like an inside ability that the third eye has it's like how octopus have neurons on their um, suckers on their arms if you figure that out it's it's very very interesting thing to think about if you figure that out you might understand what I meant with the third eye you know it's your energy is coming out and touching stuff and touching them um, that's why you can see no light emanating and so on and you can tell the difference uh, anyway so it's funny that he touched the back of his head because that happens to me a lot um, and all that is is your strong energy literally they feeling it and they're not aware of what's going on but the body the physical body is the subconscious mind right <clears throat> just like the movie inception right how the <clears throat> the girl who's changing too much gets like attacked by all the people in the street they start walking and bumping into her that architect girl that's being taught by leonardo anyway you get the picture so that that's perfect example i'm glad i looked into this video because i knew if he put a title up like this i'm going to be able to do some sort of analysis so yeah that's what's going on there with the touching of the back of the head that's not just like cia made him touch the back of his head to fuck around with you it's energy dynamics and that's the reality of the situation he put his hands behind his head then he walk off now 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 just imagine seeing that every day for the rest of your life exactly it's energy dynamics
You see what I'm saying? Some of y'all know what I'm talking about. Some of y'all, uh, you know, y'all get this. And the girl, <clears throat> that girl was looking. Yeah. It's the girl right there. She actually turned around with her face mask on, like as if she was like, here they come. And then, <laughs> and then, and then he goes and then tap the back. Yeah, so subconsciously the energy was felt. It was here, and then he walks off. Right, like, share, and subscribe, yeah.